I don't know exactly what we're gonna record, but we're gonna try recording something. Brake line is done. Cross member has been drilled and tapped. Once I get these cross members in, I kind of have everything just sitting in place. And I'm just trying to think about where the airlines are going to run. I had to mount the inline air filter that goes from the tank to the manifold. little details in the build that take all of the time but when they start to fall into uh, position and place it's worthwhile and it at least puts a smile on my face sometimes I beat myself up because I feel like it's taken way longer to do something than it should but at the end of the project as long as everything is done and fits and um, basically the way that I planned it to go together very happy. Time to go make some grommets. So, slow and steady definitely wins the race. Just taking a hand file, cutting a groove into the rubber to make my own grommet. And I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. I think a hand file is an underrated tool in the garage. I set in my cross members a little while ago and that gave me a chance to kind of like just brainstorm and think and kind of like soak it all in. And one of the things that I needed to accomplish was I needed to be able to install the inline air filter which is going to go inside the frame on the cross member you can't quite see that yet but you'll see it eventually and then the next thing was airline placement so the airline is going to come out of the air tank in the back run along the frame rail go into the air fitting come out of the uh, or come out of the air filter excuse me and then run up on top the frame rail into these holes I drilled here originally I drilled the hole for just a normal grommet and I drilled it too big so I kind of messed that up which then what I like is when you tend to mess things up you wind up coming out with a better product because it forces your hand in another uh, avenue and as long as you have a little bit of a uh, ingenuity and brainstorm and some of the materials that you need you can wind up coming out with a better result and that's what happened uh, just today. So... Oh man, like a glove. It's almost like I planned it that way. But I didn't. And that should work out really, really well. And I'm gonna run them down here, tie them together, Tuck it into the frame rail. One of these will go to the bag. One of these will go to the bag. One of these will go to the filter. The filter is going to be sitting here, per se. In. I like it. I like it. I like it. I actually think I can probably start bolting in the cross members now. bolts in and loose. Go back and tighten everything up after we get all the bolts in. Uh, so the front is 75% complete. The passenger side is all done. 
airlines and all. I ran some airlines from the bags to the manifold as well. Got everything tied in, got the manifold placed and mounted. Passenger side is 100% complete. I just gotta throw the wheel on and be done. The driver side would have been complete, but I had a, um, a malfunction with the airbag. I slipped up on assembly, put some air pressure to it, and it blew out from underneath the bottom, and I ended up breaking the internal bump stop off inside the bag. Don't ask me how that happened, but unfortunately, um, I was at fault on that mistake, and beat myself up enough so I'm not even worried about it I ordered a new set of bags I got a double pair again so actually it kind of works out because now he has a spare just in case anything was to ever happen or you know if they ever popped or anything like that gives him a spare so once I get the airbag back uh, they should be here tomorrow once I get the new airbag I'll slam that all back together and It'll be done. Those are tight. Oh, I gotta replace that one. That one's not, that one snuck by me. That's grade five. I can't have that. I can't see what I'm doing. All right, listen, pull the trigger, but don't stop until it's tight. Go. I got earplugs. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're fine. All right, let's try this again. This time, don't stop until it stops spinning. That's when it's tight. I gotta be careful not to get my fingers pinched in there either. Sometimes when the wrenches, when you spin a bolt from the backside, normally you're supposed to have the socket on the nut, not the bolt. But because I can't get there, we're doing it backwards. But you gotta be careful when the bolt's spinning, you don't wanna get your fingers stuck in the wrench between the wrench and the frame rail or else you'll end up breaking your fingers. Go ahead. Go ahead, a little bit more. All right, now to the other side. Never mind. Here, you're going to need that.
everybody else. Put all your cross members in before you tighten everything up. I know the lighting is really piss poor, but earlier in the video and in the live stream, I had all these cross members just kind of sitting here, and that's when I was kind of like brainstorming of how I wanted to run my airlines from the air tank plus the airbags. That's why I drilled this hole up here for the grommets. But one of the things that you may or may not have seen was in that process, I have the inline air filter and what I'm going to do is I kind of prepped for this already as well I drilled and tapped a quarter or yeah I drilled and tapped a quarter 20 hole up here in the cross member and that gives me a place to mount this inline air filter, which I'm going to take off because I have to still put the fittings in it, but it gives you a good idea of where it's going to go. All they gave me in the kit was this big cushion clamp, and I actually went digging in my hardware bin. I forgot that I had 3 8 quarter inch NPT um, push connect airline fittings, so what was going to be a temporary install has now officially become... I guess a final install, not that it's like overly difficult with this cushion clamp here. I can always take it out. Um, I Tefloned everything, put everything in, so hopefully there's no leaks. But what I really got up to do was because that cushion clamp doesn't hold it tight enough, this is where it's right, wrong, or indifferent. I am taking some electrical tape and I'm gonna make a few wraps around the filter, which the filter should still be able to unscrew from the manifold. Electrical tape is like duct tape. Thousand and one uses for it. So, <clears throat> a few wraps with electrical tape, basically putting a grommet on it. Like I said, you can still unscrew you can still unscrew the manifold. There's a little drain uh, Schrader valve you can push on. So I want to make sure that it's accessible. That way he can uh, hit the button every once in a while. But now, make sure that you have it aligned in the right direction. It's a one-way flow. So in, out. So obviously from the tank in out to the manifold maybe put too much electrical tape on it i think i put too much on little dab will do you there we go and Beautiful. That's all it needs. And then from here, up to the top of the frame rail, through the grommet hole, air fittings. And then I still gotta pressure test the air tank. I gotta put all the fittings in the air tank that I need and then pressure test it before it goes in. And then that can go in tomorrow along with the rear end. Actually might be, uh, might actually look like a truck again tomorrow. That is where I am going to end today's live stream and my video for YouTube. It was definitely uh, a successful afternoon. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, this has been Challenge the Build. Go out there and challenge your build. And I will see you all in an upcoming video and or live stream. Um, tomorrow, live stream, hopefully. More cross members. Hopefully we'll get this thing to actually look like a truck again. The rear will go in and uh, do some brake work. Who knows? We'll see what happens. I'll see everybody later. Thanks for watching.